Hey beautiful people, it's Raquel and I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to show you guys how you can get $30,000 in credit card approvals. So I want to teach you guys like how I kind of think when I think about credit cards, how to get them, where to get them. I'm going to show you like the method that I personally go through. And I've been seeing a lot of people um, saying that they needed larger sums of money. And I want to show you like, it's something that I want to personally do. It's going to cost $8,000. So my thought is I need to put these on 0% APR credit cards or possibly a care credit. That's what my thought is. So I want to show you like how I will go through the process of getting a credit card. Plus, I want to show those people the process of how to get like larger amounts or just getting multiple ones too. Because sometimes you got to maneuver a right way to get multiple credit cards, especially depending on your credit score. Now, I'm not talking about somebody that has like if you got a lot of charge offs, collections, your Another thing, this is the biggest one. Your utilization is very, very high. Um, to me, above 29%, I would rather be at 5%. Then it's going to be hard for you to get these type of approvals. Okay. And then you have to understand too the amount. We're talking 30,000. Some people, y'all might be happy with you know, getting $2,000 in credit cards because it's your first time, you know, you want to get some credit cards where you want 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I don't know what your number is, but understand too, that is based off of your income. So if you want to get higher, you want to get approved for higher amounts, you need to basically have more income to be able to put on application. Basically, it's going to be very, very hard if you have very low income to say you want a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar credit card because it's like what are you going to do with that you know but it's not impossible but it's still very very hard but let's look at some of these credit cards because i know a lot of people have a hard time doing this and it's very very simple especially how i have it set up because now it's i use the same method when i look for credit cards so i go to my website rakita.com um, if y'all on my website, you can schedule a call here. If you do got negative accounts, get this free dispute letter, y'all, to delete them accounts. It's free, literally. Mail it into the credit bureaus. Plus, I have some letters here and I have some utilization sheets. And those people that see how I track like my credit card utilization, if you watched that in the past, um, then this is what I do. I put all my credit cards in order so I can pay them down because you got to have very low utilization to try to get approved for credit cards. And then I'll have also my exclusive credit membership. Now, these are the list that I put together for different credit cards. I'm thinking about adding a 0% APR list because to me, like that's my favorite list right now. Um, I gotta make sure I write that down. And if y'all think of any other list, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, but these are the lists I have right now. Now, I like 0% APR list. I like that so I can know which ones I can get. But I like the pre-qualify with no hard inquiry. This is my favorite, favorite list because I don't care what your credit is. You can find you some credit cards on this list. Now, we're not just trying to find any credit cards. We have specific credit cards that we honestly want to try to get because we want to do, I will want to target 0% APR credit cards. Um, or sometimes you want to target certain credit cards with rewards. If you really want to hold a balance on a credit card, you have something that you really want to pay for, you don't want to use cash, you just want to use like, you just want to just basically keep, keep your money to the side say for 12 months that's why you want a zero percent apr credit card you got a big purchase you're doing something to the house you can have it paid off in a year but you just feel as if instead of you taking a big chunk of money or if you don't even have a big chunk of money right now you could just gradually just make sure you pay it off within a zero percent apr if you guys need special things look for the rewards that you want like if you're traveling a lot look for like travel credit cards if you guys are um just having a lot of expenses, you want to just get the most you can get for your cash back, then look at my cash back list here. Now, let's go back, get back on track. So there's so many different credit cards in this list. It's honestly over 45 of them, but I'm trying to target certain credit cards. So I'm going to tell you why I will target certain credit cards. So the first credit card is basically a Discover credit card. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking Discover, um, again, because we want 0% APR, Discover can offer 0% APR and it usually can offer it for 
15 months. So that's really good. Now, I just want to look up their website just so you guys can understand, like, what am I reading? And, you know, so discover credit cards. You know, how am I thinking about these different cards? And then you guys can really take it from here once I teach you how I want to think about how I'm thinking about these credit cards. So here it is right here. You're going to get the 0% APR for 15 months on purchases and balance transfers. Now, I personally don't like to do balance transfers. I already know how to get this. If I got on purchases, I can just make sure I put all my new expenses, bills, whatever, just on this credit card. If I want to do 0% APR and then wait till this one is maxed out or whatnot and keep all of my cash. Basically, if you're going to do a balance transfer and pay off some other credit card, wherever you was naturally putting these things on, whatever the case may be, um, or just putting the money to the side. But that's how you will take technically do a, a balance transfer. You transfer in a balance. Um, just put your new expenses on, take that cash and pay off the other credit card that you really want to not have a balance on. So that's what I like because it's still 0%. But this is going to be for 15 months. They even have um, six months for the students. So they have different options on here. And that's why I will say discover. Some people think of credit cards wrong. So let me give you an example. So we got this discover it Chrome gas and restaurant credit card. Some people look at this credit card like, I don't want no gas credit card. I don't want a restaurant credit card. It's not even about that, honestly. Sometimes if you want to target certain credit cards, you got to figure out why you want that one. And the only reason why I would even care to even get this one is because they got the 15 months, 0% um, APR. I don't care if it's a gas restaurant. I don't care about that. Some people are like, I'm more rewards and more than just that. Right now, all you care about is a 0% APR. OK, so figure out why you like a certain credit card. And if you don't like certain things about it, figure out why this would be a better option than any other credit card. But definitely I will go to Discover. So it's quite a few Discover credit cards on here. And I believe on some of these, I have my actual referral link, too. So you guys will get one hundred dollars. I'll get one hundred dollars. So if you're interested in Discover, definitely check it out. Now, next will be Apple. Now, Apple can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry. I love my Apple credit card. Um, I like that they was able to double my limit, too. Um, so I really, really like Apple. So I like that you can just pre-qualify for it. They're going to tell you yes or no without a hard inquiry. That's all of these credit cards. So this can be another one that you're going to add to your list. Now, Sometimes when you're looking to get like $30,000 in credit cards, you're not going to just get that from one credit card a lot of times. Sometimes you got to get a $10,000 credit card. You got a $7,000 credit card. You have to add them up to make it be the $30,000 that you're looking for. Usually once you get these credit cards, you don't have to apply again for credit cards too soon. Maybe you'll wait a year or two years or wait until you even need to get some type of credit. But definitely is a lot of times from a lot of different credit cards. Now, I like the end rewards. This is the secure, but I suggest that you guys definitely pre-qualify for Navy Federal. They have a lot of different credit cards on their website. Um, pre-qualify for one of their credit cards and definitely get a credit card with Navy Federal because they have a lot of different options. That's Discover. Um, I personally would not like the 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 pedal one pedal two maybe i gotta look at it again again my target is mainly zero percent apr okay they can't offer that or um navy federal i believe when i was looking into them the last time i got credit cards a certain credit card where they gave you very very low interest and i just couldn't do it still <laughs> I couldn't do it still, but if you can't get that 0%, try to find one with very, very low interest on like balance transfer or something. Like if you transfer a balance, we'll give you this very low interest rate that you can hold, you know, something like that. But definitely check out Navy Federal and see what they um, have to offer. Now, Capital One have multiple credit cards and they can pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry. And sometimes some of these companies will have just this one credit card and some of them will have multiple. You just really have to start searching like the names of the credit cards and seeing that they have more. So Capital One, um, Discover, Navy Federal, a lot of banks too, same way. 
But Capital One got a lot of them. So try to see if you can pre-qualify for one with Capital One. And again, I would try to target 0% APR credit cards. And you guys really should start doing like a Google search on certain things to learn about certain credit cards. And I only know this because it's smart that I'm even thinking about getting 0% APR instead of just, um, cause even if I do 0% APR, even for a $8,000 purchase, even putting that on a credit card to get 2% back, 3% back or whatever percentage back is still better. Cause you still make something and just pay it right off, especially if you already got the cash. So the Capital One 0% APR credit card, literally, this all you have to do is just search it. They even got their own page with all of their low interest rate credit cards. So 0% APR for 15 months, 15 months, 15 months. So yeah, there you go. These are the ones that you were get, you will try to apply for the Quicksilver Rewards, Venture One Rewards, Saving One Rewards. That's kind of what you would try to aim towards and try to apply for. Now let me do because uh, those are ones that have multiple credit cards. You really should go to their website. Let me do more of a quicker run through of this list so that you guys, now that I told you how I'm thinking when I'm looking at these credit cards, especially 0% APR, then now you guys know what to do. Now you're going to pass up Open Sky, all these, some of these are like secure credit cards, Credit One Bank, yeah, right, we're not trying to get that. That's for somebody that can't get a credit card at all is trying to build. Credit One Bank, no. Maybe Wayfair can be on the list. Um, Maybe only because I use I got a, I did the Wayfair just as a filler credit card. So if you need a filler, like you like, I just need the additional six thousand, or I need the additional four or two, whatever your number is, it's this could be a filler. Um, and then I got approved for the Mastercard, so I thought that would be nice. And they have zero percent APR on. If you spend more than two hundred forty nine dollars, so I was like, okay, they got their own zero percent APR for. Wayfair products. So let's see, you can go definitely go to NASA, try to see if they can approve for any credit cards. And we're talking um, higher limits, not Prosper, not Stone Indigo, definitely not these. Uh, sometimes you want 0% APR for certain, certain things. So if you're looking for a mattress, maybe you want to try to see if that company um, have a credit card for you too such as like the CD to Propedic. And then for mine, um, my thing is medical that I need. So I can get like the Cure credit card. And usually sometimes they'll have um, special payment options at like, say you got to do dental work. You know, that stuff can add up. They maybe have special 0% APR payment options when you guys have like the Care credit, you go to the... Um, you're a doctor, whoever it is you want to do, whatever you want them to do. They'll have payment options. So another one is Bob's Discount Furniture. Maybe you want to get some furniture. You know, these could be filler credit cards. I would love if y'all can get approved for MasterCards, Visas, because you can use them anywhere. And once once, once you get past that 0% APR, now you still have a company that's fully open and available to you. Um, U.S. Alliance, you definitely could do that. You could do PinFed. Um, you could do any... Say if you have like your local credit union, your local bank, try to see if they have anything for you. But again, there's so many different credit cards on here. You can literally just go and pre-qualify for these different credit cards. Like I got the GM rewards. Um, I like that they have a 0% APR um, before. But you target what you need and see if these credit cards can offer it. Again, this is the care credit. This is why I said, okay, you can do a care credit or a 0% APR credit card. You'll be fine. But it's so many different credit cards on this list. So I hope that you guys will be able to get approved for at least whatever amount that you're trying to get. But understand, you guys, if you're not getting approved for what you want, say if you want to go for 30000 maybe you only get twenty, maybe you get ten, maybe you get five. You need to figure out what's going on with your credit that you can't get what you want. And then you want to see if it's too soon for you to apply for credit cards. And maybe you apply for the wrong credit cards. But definitely 
I would say just see what you guys can do. And once you get the credit cards you want to get, maybe wait a year, maybe two years. Let those accounts um, start to get some age on it before you go in and try to get a lot more credit cards. Because some people, you know, you keep getting credit cards, but then you have a slip up and now you're in credit card debt. And that's not what you want either. But hopefully the video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.